What's up everyone and welcome to Envision Gaming. Today we are going to be looking at Slip Crashers, a game created by Peakstone, aka Bite Parrot. So this is a game that is uh, basically a snowboard racing kind of style game. Gives me a little bit of Mario Kart vibes um, and SSX also, if you guys have played any of those. Also seems like a uh, pretty, you know, love, love child of snowboard kids if anybody's actually played that game as well. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we uh, we actually been following this game for quite a while now. Um, we found the developer on Twitter, and we've been just kind of watching as the guy's been posting updates and whatnot, and finally released a demo. So we decided to give it a try and give our initial impressions. So uh, yeah, guys, what do we uh, what have we been thinking about this game? I think you hit the nail on the head with the description there. It's a it's a cute little game. The guy's doing a good job with it. Um, I, I look forward to see the rest of the maps. Looks like you've got like a couple different, uh, sections of individual maps. So like this one is Neon City. You can race in different areas of the city. Uh, I really like the, the animals. That's what caught our, caught our eye on Twitter because we're more the chicken fans. So <laughs> we're, we're definitely going to try to get this guy to put more in the game and, uh, deal with whatever lawsuits that comes with <laughs> but but yeah, that's uh, his problem with that. <laughs> yeah that's his problem we're we're, <laughs> we're satisfied uh, <laughs> we'll just show him what he looks like and that's it you know figure it out from there. yeah one thing that surprised me about this game which i'm not like a battle snowboard racer game dude but uh your laps actually end at the lift so you have to you know get on the lift slowly rise up uh, and, and go to lap number two. So, you know, like, first race I did in this, I was, you know, I got to the lift, and I was like, let's go! Let's go! Come on! <laughs> Gotta get up the slopes! It reminded me a lot of uh, the Donkey Kong map from Mario Kart Double Dash. How, like, you get to the end, and then you shoot up the cannon to the top of the mountain. Mm, yes. And mm -hmm. have to come back down. It gave me a lot of those vibes. But, yeah, the game is really really fun and better than i expected and obviously the little creatures are cute as can be mm -hmm. but the game played really smooth i'm awful at it Terrible. Uh, oh yeah i lost on easy but <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool and there's a lot of like interesting features in terms of like the jumping to gain speed and the different tricks you could do and combos of the tricks uh my big confusion was i had no idea what the abilities did Mm -hmm. And I mean, that just comes with playing a bit more of it. But yeah, I was just throwing them out and half the time getting hit by things that I didn't understand was happening. And I made it to first place like 10 times and ended up in like six when the round ended. But we don't need to talk about that part. <laughs> and the map design was really cool. I really liked the city map uh, just because like the aesthetic of it looked really good in the background. Uh, I'm not 100% certain on how many snowboarding and ski slopes are in the middle of like downtown what looked to be like tokyo but i'm not a professional in that so <laughs> they might be there yeah it's uh it's definitely a lot of fun i messed up first time playing through because oh, I, I remember this uh, jump oh. i didn't know that i could actually use the glider <laughs> i couldn't <laughs> i didn't uh I was jumping off, and I'm like, what the hell? This game is tough. I can't even control myself after I jump. And then after I double tap jump, and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, oh. it, it feels real smooth. It's, uh, it's definitely, you know, like I said, probably closest resemblance to Snowboard Kids. Definitely check that game out if you haven't, uh, if you don't know what it is, you'll see the comparisons. But, um, it's better than Snowboard Kids just from my memory. Cause I remember that game controlled like crap. Like it was real hard to steer and whatnot. Where this game, it, was, it felt great. Like, uh, you know, we've been saying. I mean, it, it really has uh, some pretty good controls. And, you know, hope the guy kind of keeps uh, tuning away. And, you know, once he releases it, I'm definitely looking forward to messing around with it. Because it's a fun game you don't have to be an expert at. You know, you could literally be terrible. And it's like, ah, you know, it's still fun. Because it's, uh, it's like Mario Kart. You know, that's what the point of those games are. Yeah, one thing that I really like is the uh, the ferrets. Uh, the, so the ferret character is actually two ferrets on a board. Uh, and I really like that aspect of the game. I'd like to see him kind of capitalize on that and have more strange animal combinations. 
you know, so you have like a couple of squirrels or like a, a full flock of doves or something trying to control a board. I think that'd be pretty cool. Or just like go towards the cartoon side, like the like a penguin's got the, the helmet and the scarf, maybe give the other animals some cosmetics or something. I like that. And then uh, obviously the boards, like sure, I, I know for a fact the guy's got to have more boards. Like I'm, I'm running with the pan right now. You know, I want to see all the crazy different boards that you can do, like uh, like a an ironing board. Maybe when you do a, a flip or something, it like opens up for a second or something. I don't know. Just go crazy with it because uh, the, the physics, they're solid. So, you mm-hmm. know, sell the game with the, with the crazy little things you can do. I, I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, is this all being made by one person? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. One dude, and uh, he he actually streams it on Twitch. Um, Peakstone. Uh, oh, so this this ability right here on the screen, I don't know if this is a bug or a glitch or something, but it absolutely just destroys your momentum. And I got hit by it a couple times, so <laughs> I was like waiting to reset. And nope, you just you just float on down. It was. <laughs> Oh man, it do be strong. Yeah, <laughs> that would be fun to, you know, get better at the game. I did not utilize uh, the abilities as I should have, but I basically went the same way. Use the lemur and the frying pan. I don't know why that was the go-to one. Mm-hmm. I was a chicken guy. Yeah, it, so I wasn't into the lemur. Give me more all day. Yeah, but if you yeah. Get actual narrow oh boy. I definitely was doing more tricks than actually racing. And <laughs> was just like spamming buttons to see what would happen. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was trying. Uh, I'm definitely not good at this game, but uh, you know, it's it, it's a it's a pretty good time. I, I'm I'm hoping to challenge some friends. Speaking of friends, it looks like this game will be a remote play together. So you know, it's kind of hit or miss on on that feature if it's going to have a decent enough connection, but. We'll see. I also I also don't want to like rate the game yet, you know. Like I I want to wait till the game comes out, but you know I I do want to say you know enjoying the demo as far as that is. Uh, so we'll see what uh, see what happens when it's released. Sure. Yeah, I definitely have. We'll be picking this up and playing more of it. Without a number, it's definitely a few bucks I'd be willing to throw. To pick this up and play with friends. I hope it does have like normal online multiplayer as well. Yeah. I'm hoping it's on a console. That's what I'm hoping. Because yeah. I could see Shut myself up. definitely playing with the my friends on some console. You don't have friends on a console. You don't yeah, have I friends. Do. <laughs> I've got real life friends unlike you guys. No, you don't. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, we have some personal talk to, to go do. So, uh, you guys uh, enjoy the video. Check out the demo. Uh, we're Envision Gaming. You can tweet at us at Envision underscore org. Drop a like if you, if you like the video. All that good stuff. We'll see you next time.